How's it going? It's a uh, here, and we're back with a brand new episode of what is this game called again? Moon Farmers? Moon Farming? Moon f Moon Farming? Farming the Moon? What? Oh yeah, that stupid thing. I forgot. You have to be standing on top of that to do anything. So guys, in the last episode, we went and we got a whole bunch of stuff. I have no batteries in here. I must have just collected them before I logged out. Okay, well, in the last episode, we went over to the Chinese warehouse over there, and we took all their stuff because they don't need it. They went home for the new year. Come on, open up. Then we came over here, and we got a whole bunch. I don't need to close this, do I? I don't know why I keep closing that all the time. Um, We got this nifty little printing machine set up, and we got all these factories going. I don't, they're not really factories. All these machines. And we're supposed to talk to the commander, so Good. let's go ahead. Now you need to place a furnace. Furnace allows you to smelt raw materials into usable resources. These resources can then be used to print out build parts from the printer machine. Furnace requires a battery to power on. I've added the furnace semantics to your inventory. Come back and talk to me when you've placed it. All right, so we have the semantics which I think just means the furnace. It's so small. We could probably just tuck it over here. It's so tiny. Why is it so tiny? Let's just put it right here, maybe. Boop. It's so small. OK, talk to Commander. Let's go. Good. Now you'll need some resources that you can smelt in the furnace. Of course. I'm pretty sure you've seen some rocks and other materials on the surface of the moon. By the way, what did they promise before you came to the moon? I mean, did they say that you will relax and all 3D printers and robots will do hard work for you? Ha ha, don't worry, they did that with everybody before you. So, even with all nowadays technologies, still you need to do a lot of manual work. The big ones are iron ores and you need the pickaxe to mine them. The medium shiny ones are silicon ores and you need a blowtorch to mine them. The small orange ones are glass shards and you can just collect them directly. After you've collected some of them and smelt them into usable resources, you can use the printer machine to print build parts. These build parts range from your basic walls, floors, foundations to other machines. As you can probably tell by now, you can build some new bases. The most important part of U-Base is the foundation build part. Everything else such as walls and door frames are placed on the foundation. There is also an airlock build part. Airlock needs to be attached to a door frame. Some build parts require an airlock to work. Now you can go, gather some resources, build new bases and farm. As you can see this old base is too small for us now, you need to make a new base. When you're ready come and talk to me. I'll teach you how to use farming incubators, farming control panel, and storage section. One more thing before you go, you can use the hammer to destroy the structures you've built. And make sure you build bases that are big enough to support your needs. We don't want you to build bases that are too small and waste time. Good luck. <laughs> I don't know why she missed that one. You gather, you can gather iron ore by using a pickaxe. Just walk up to them and start swinging. I feel like we already did that. Okay, silicone is what we need the blowtorch for. And then we already have a whole bunch of glass. So that is not a problem. Building has following steps. Resource gathering, 3D printing, building parts, placing the build parts. Look at this, guys. Oh, my God. It's so cool. I am excited. Resource gathering, 3D printing the parts. We already did that. Once you gathered the resources, you'll need to use the 3D printer to print out the parts that you want to place. After you've printed the parts, you can start placing them. The structural build parts that are available to you are as follows. Foundation, wall, door, frame, door... Oh, door frame, door, roof, airlock. The foundation is the main part that is required to be placed. Just as the name suggests, it is the foundation for all of your bases. Everything else is placed on top of it. Foundation has snapping points on its side for, 
for other foundations, walls, and door frames. When you place a foundation, wall, or door frame on the foundation, they will automatically snap, snap to one of the four sides on the foundation, depending on where you're po pointing them towards. Upon successful snapping, if the build part is free from obstruction, the guide projection will change its color to green, after which you can place the build part. Okay, I think that makes sense. Both the wall and door frame are placed on the foundations. Walls are of two types, with windows and without windows. Door frames are the same as walls in terms of placement, but allow a door and an airlock to be attached to them. Got it. Airlocks are used to control the distribution of breathable oxygen across a closed structure. They also manage the temperature inside the base and make it friendly for humans and plants. Airlock will only allow a single floored base to be airlocked. If there are multiple floors, the airlock will fail. An airlock can only be placed on a door frame. One last thing. Make sure your base is big enough to server the purpose you want to serve the purpose you want to build it for. Now you are ready to build. Okay. Uh, talk to Commander when ready. I don't think we're ready yet. Let's get some batteries. Where's all my glass? I know I have a whole bunch of glass. Glass, glass, glass. Okay. Let's take that and put it in here. I probably don't need all of these batteries. Let's let's split it a few times maybe. Item is not fuel. What? Oh, that's oxygen. Derp. I was like, what is it talking about? Okay. Am I supposed to put this here? Okay. Okay. So that's going to do its thing for a little bit. Yeah, cool. So let's let that kind of do its thing. Let's go outside and get a whole bunch of iron. And come on, game. And maybe some silicone. Open sesame. Now I have a blowtorch here. Let's see. Does this work? Oh, it does. Oh. Nice. It works so fast. Is there fuel on this thing? I'm not seeing a bar anywhere that's going down. Come on. So perhaps it's just infinite? Like even the little even the little green bar or the green color at the top isn't going down. So maybe once you have one of these, it just lasts forever. I don't know. So I've been running around out here collecting all the silicone and I haven't found any rocks yet. It's all just been silicone and glass. I'm not sure where we're supposed to get iron from. Oh, maybe it's those things right there. Yeah, that looks right. Yeah, they, they look like rocks, right? I think so. Come on. Just want to get a few more of these while we're standing right here anyway. Come on. It seems like it's a little buggy when you go to use it. Sometimes you have to click it a few times before it figures out what exactly you're trying to do. Oh, yeah. Come on. Give it. Give it all. I'm looking, we need, yeah, I was just about to say, we need some water, we're gonna need some food here right away, let's have a carrot, a couple carrots, alright, well, let's just gather up some more stuff, alright guys, so we got a whole bunch of stuff here, let's see, oh yeah, we got hundreds of iron, a bunch of silicone, let's check to see how many batteries we have, oh, we got a few, and do we have any more water? Okay, yeah, there's some water. Okay, so now what I need to do, I think, is start building more of these things because those are basically what's governing our whole system here. 
without production of more of those basic resources, we can't make anything else. So let's see if that's even something we can do here. Foundation wall, airlock, oxygen extraction, solar panel. Insufficient items. Iron bar, electrical chip, glass pane. Oh! Okay, we're gonna need some iron bars. Wow, those three batteries only got us th four glass panes out of all that glass. Okay, let's get some of this in here. Put some batteries on. Ooh, that smelts a lot faster. That's good. While that's happening, let's get some water. Hey, that's all working fine and dandy. Forget what else we needed. We needed a computer chip, and I'm, and I'm not sure that's something we can make in here. Plant incubator, farming control panel, storage section. I think we found some computer chips. Oh, I have iron. Okay, we have iron. How do we make computer chips? Oh, that's annoying. Everything that I want to make requires electrical chips. I don't see where to make electrical chips. <laughs> So, that might be a bust here right away. Thing seems to be working. Okay, let's just talk to her maybe. You are ready for the next part? All right, let's start with the farming automation system. This system only works in an airlocked structure. This system has three build parts. An incubator, a control section, and finally a storage section. Let's start with incubators. Incubators are responsible for managing the farming stations. Each can have two farming stations attached to it. Once a farming station is attached to an incubator, you cannot interact with it directly. You can only place incubators on foundations, and each foundation can hold up to three incubators. Now, print out three incubators from printing machine, and place them on a foundation. Come and talk to me when... Okay. Good luck. So we need a foundation, which is easy enough. Iron bar. Now, okay. Want me to go over here and get iron bars? I will go over there and get iron bar. We'll load this right up. Oh, is it doing them both at the same time? Oh, guys. I didn't realize that we could do it twice as effectively like that. Oh, I've been screwing up all this stuff. I thought I would go through one and then go through the other, but no, we can do twice as much stuff. Okay. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. We need a foundation. What do you mean insufficient? Iron bar. Oh, do I have to put them in here? Oh, and it probably takes batteries as well. Okay, foundation. Let's craft four of them. Okay. And then... Forget what I wanted. Incubator. Electrical chips. Where do I make them? Oh, you know what? I bet we make them in this smelting machine, don't we? With silicone. I bet that is exactly where they come from. Can I smelt them both at the same time? Oh, look at that. We can do them both at the same time. Oh, that's wonderful. I like that. All right, let's just wait and see what comes out of there. Also, I was so sure that we found electrical chips. I came back over to look in my container again, and sure enough, here are the electrical chips. We, we could have found them earlier. I just was totally about there. So I'm wondering if I should make another solar panel. How do... Do we know if it's working? <gasps> oh, it's working. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, so incubator. I think we're going to need more electrical chips and some more glass panes. But once we get the 
uh, what you calls it. Once we get the battery making thingy, then that should help us a little bit. I should also make another furnace. I probably can't. Oh, apparently I can. Okay. Cool. It's starting on the solar panel. Oh, okay. It queues it up like this. That's great. All right. So I went out there and I hooked up another of uh, the battery thingy mabobbers. So that should get us going a little bit faster. I'm also going to want at least one more smelter. Where is it? Electrical furnace. But I just saw it. There we go. So I want one more. Six, three electrical chips. Yeah, you can only make one more right now, so we'll do that. That will help quite a bit with our production here. Almost got it down to one stack. Beautiful. Okay, so we'll plunk this other one down right beside it. Give it some batteries here. And let's load it up with some iron and some glass. Go! Oh, that is good. Okay, we'll get that in there. Is it one to one? Let's see. Oh, it is one. How about this one? I don't think the silicone's one to one. Because I've only got 95 left. Well, I don't know. All right, so plant incubator. Oh, we don't have near enough glass. I've only got one pane right now. I'm going to need six more glass panes, four more electrical chips. One more electrical chip then. A bunch of glass. It's coming. It's just going to take a minute. Bear with me here. All right, let's turn this off so we're not wasting our power. I should have those three incubators. I need these foundations. That up there with those. Let's get this out of my inventory. We're full up on iron already. Okay, so I did go out there and gather up a little bit more stuff. It's not on. Must have ran it out of power at some point. Okay, let's pop that off. Good looking good. Our things here. Let's get some dirty water. Can I not split that when it's in there? Put that like that. Looking good. Okay, let's go outside and try to put down these foundations. Open sesame. Okay, so where do I want to put this base? Maybe right here. Right here is a good spot. Place. Go up. Go too high. Let's try and keep it... Uh-oh. Okay, that works. Should have gone higher. Lower. Oh. Okay! Look at that! We got some foundations going on here. Um, What's next? Plant incubators. Place. Now, how does this work? Be per found quite sure I understand one two three I don't think these are gonna work if they're outside <laughs> but I did what I was told to do so let's go talk to her see what she has to say now Hello, Commander! Good. Now that you've built the incubators, it's time to get them working. Let's talk about the other two parts. Control section and storage section. The control section is used to manage the incubators. You can turn the incubators on and off from here. The control section also has two storage compartments beside it. One of them is for storing water and other is for storing seeds. The control section will automatically take the seeds and plant them to the attached incubators. 
Control section will also manage the water supply to the incubators. You can also check the status of all the incubators from the check status screen. Once the plant is ready for harvest it will need some place to be stored at. This is where the storage section comes in use. Control section will automatically harvest the plants and move them to the attached storage section. A storage section will need to have two containers attached to it. Again all these build parts can only be placed on foundations, and need an airlock to function. For all the build parts to work properly they need to be within the same airlock structure. The control section will automatically manage everything else. Good luck. Oh boy. Okay, so it sounds like I'm going to need a lot of stuff. It sounds like we're going to need some walls. Uh-huh. Uh, probably a lot of walls. Let's go with, like, 10. Wait, why is it... Why is it making those and I don't even have this machine turned on? Don't understand. We're going to need some more foundations. So let's make a bunch of those. We're going to need some door frames, probably, maybe. I, I mean, I imagine. We're going to need a whole bunch of roofs. Make a bunch of those. Things looking here. Probably way more than we're going to need. We're going to need an airlock system, which, oh my god, that takes a lot of stuff. Glass crystals. Uh-oh. Takes just straight up glass crystals. And I think she said two containers. Let's just Let's just start with the room for now. Oh no, we're out of batteries again. Ugh. This is gonna take a minute, guys. Okay, we got a whole bunch of building materials. See, come on, I hate that stupid airlock. It's so dumb. Okay, let's see if I can at least get a building set up here for this thing. I'm expecting I probably need another foundation. I don't know how this is supposed to actually work. I wish it gave me a little bit more... A little bit more information on how I'm supposed to set this up. That's probably good. Then we'll get a door frame going. Place that right up here. I think that's good. Can I get an airlock set up? No. Hey, that that looks pretty good. Now we need a bunch of walls. Place. Whoop. No. Oh, that looks good. Okay, let's get some roof. Get this. Okay. Now. How do I cancel? How do I cancel this? I'll just swap to a tool. <laughs> okay. Now. Do I need doors? I feel like I probably need to make doors. Is that a thing we could make? I don't even remember. Door! Look at that. We need two doors. I think electrical chip, glass pane. Yeah, we should have enough stuff to make that. Things looking here. Oh, we're out of batteries again. Out of batteries again. God, we need more batteries. Doors are done. Cool. Let's go. Plug these on and see if our building will actually work. Come on! Building looks looks good. 
not entirely sure it's going to work here. Let's let's try to plug these doors up. Here we go. Open. Wait, what? What happened there? Oh, it's working. It's alive. <laughs> Oh, yes, that is amazing. Okay, cool. So, there is that. Let me go. We need a control station and a storage section. I don't know what that means exactly, but let's go see what it takes. First of all, how are our solar panels coming along? We've only got one. Must have ran out of something for the second one. Solar panel... Iron bar, electrical chip, and cane. Oh, we don't have enough iron! I also think we're out of iron. Yeah, we are. Okay, so anyway, we got another solar panel. We can do that. We need to build a control station. Which looks like what? Arming control panel? That might be what we need. We don't have enough stuff for that. And then a storage section. You can have two containers attached to it. Can be used with plant incubators and control panels as storage. That we can make. Pow! Right in the kisser. Okay, let's make that. Let's go get these batteries going. I think there's probably more outside already by this time. It's been a while since I collected them. So let's go ahead and place one more of these guys down. This, how are things looking here? Six extra batteries. Don't mind if I doodle. Okay, whoa. Time to go and get our furnaces operating again. And then I guess what I have to do is go find some more iron. So, I'll be right back. Alright, I got a whole bunch of stuff. This is still going. Silicone's still going. I don't have much silicone. Oh, these are almost done anyway. Why is this one not going? Come on there. Does it take four? I if it takes four. If it's not going to go. We may as well put iron in there. Let that go. Oh, neither of these ones are going, so I should put some iron in there. Got some more grass. Grass. I got some more glass crystals while we were ootin' a boot. So there's that. Silicone has stopped working altogether, so let's get a bunch of iron going. Oh, that is beautiful. Now, the only thing left is the control station, which we can make. I'm not sure why this is working without being turned on. Something broke, but I'm okay with it. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on. I'm not going to play with it. I'm just going to let it do its thing. I don't care if it's going to let me make stuff for free. I am totally on board with that. Okay, so let's get these building materials out of our inventory for now. Just to clear up some room. Add this dirty water in here. We may as well get a battery. Maybe two batteries. I don't know how many batteries that's going to take. To clear all of that. And then maybe we'll get a battery. This is probably only going to need one. I don't know. But we'll get those ten water going. Okay, that looks good. That looks really good. Oh man, I am pumped. We can start getting an automated facility going here. Okay, so control station, place. Where do we want to control our station? From here? That looks fine. And then the storage. What? Why did it say split? Did I make five of these? Oh my god, I made so many of these. I think that's going to be fine. 
We'll just have a lot of storage. Can I put... Okay, I can. I don't... I realize I made so many of these. Oh, I'm gonna need containers. Ah, crap. Oh, well. Okay. Well, I think that is probably pretty good. Look at that, guys. Our little... Our little automated farmy doohickey thing machine. I don't know exactly what it's for, but we're going to have to talk to the commander. We're going to have to find out, but we're going to do that in the next episode. So I hope you liked today's episode of Moon Farming Simulator Prologue, whatever. And I hope that you leave me a thumbs up on this video. And guys, if you are new to my channel and this is the first time you've popped in to see what's going on, thank you so much, first of all. And I hope, I hope, I hope that you will subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so that you will be notified in the future when I'm back with more videos. We're posting daily content and you don't want to miss any of it. It's always awesome, fun stuff just like this game. But yeah, anyways, that's going to wrap it up for now, guys. And I'll see you next time.